parametric is what I call the Mario Brothers uh, programming functions. If you want Mario to move left and right, you're going to use X, F of T. If you want Mario to go up and down, jumping or whatever, uh, then you're going to go Y equal to G of T. The two combinations together, X equals F of T and Y equals G of T, are what we call a parametric equation. Now that's for how many dimensions? Two. What if we wanted to do three dimensions? What do we need? Z equal to, you know, H of T. What if we wanted to do four dimensions? We'd go whatever, B or A equals to I of T or whatever you want to do. You're just going to add more equations. And that's why this is so powerful is that you can go as many dimensions as you want. Speaking of dimensions, on Friday, uh, annual 4D uh, lesson, I'm going to be doing that on Friday. We will not have an assignment on Friday. We will just, you come in here, open your mind. You've seen it before, but it's going to fill in some gaps uh, and maybe make it a little clearer to you the second time around. And uh, we'll have another class in here as well. So Friday, don't be gone on Friday. All right, so uh, here's what we were talking about with parametrics. And uh, you have the two equations here. If you want to know slope or second derivative, you just take dy dt over dx dt. Simple. But if you take the second derivative, you take this answer here and divide by dx dt. It has to do with this process of d dt, d dx with dy dx. So this here is a derivative consideration. These are a couple of terms that use derivatives. Okay, Speed is the square root of the change in t squared plus what change in y of t squared. It's just Pythagorean theorem. Acceleration is just the second derivative of x of t and y of t, second derivative. These are vector symbols. So I like to call these terms. The next thing we'd run into would be a position, and this is the location of a point. And notice that we start with a starting spot, and then we add an additional part. And the additional part is an integral, a to b, x of t, dt, or y of t, uh, a to b, y prime of t, dt. And this will get me my new position. So if we start here, how do we get there? Well, this is my starting one, x of a, comma, y of a. And then you do this accumulation to get to the next part. All right, then the next part that we add is next. And 